Hey, this is Nick Dutch with um, a few more ideas to what the phrase New Age actually means. I would say a good way of looking at it would be more complex and in-depth ways of looking after yourself and finding out about yourself would be putting it another way. Uh, I mean, essentially, there can be a lot of problems that people get in their life. I think it was um, one of the promoters of a version of the Bhagavad Gita who suggested that normal life just normal life, being a normal human being was a, a, akin to being in a drunken trance and that there was a better level of um, clarity of mind which could be reached through doing things which of course his particular religion was selling. Uh, I don't think it's, um, I don't think you can get more mental clarity purely from a particular religion. I think that it's actually quite good that some religions carry this kind of wisdom and, and information within them and promote them and encourage them. But I don't think it's purely down to one particular, you know, way of way of doing things. Now, I was just going to give you a brief list here of things which are part of the treatment, so to speak, for this hypothetical state of drunkenness that, that we humans are in when we're in our normal state of life. Uh, well, there's contemplation, conversation, meditation, visualiz visualization, neuro-linguistic programming, affirmations, uh, essential oils, faith, ceremony, written exercises, diet, nutrition, exercise, and sleep improvement. The purpose uh, of using most of these things is to exploit irrationality. Actually to deliberately exploit irrationality to try and help you to change. Although that is only putting it rather mildly, this is a very complex subject with lots of complex dimensions to it. Uh, and as a result of that, you can't get full and complete understanding in just um, a few minutes worth of YouTube video. Right. Now what these things are there for, so that's anything from your candle burning exercises through to meditation, prayer, ritual, God alone knows what. Uh, preparation for action. You do this kind of stuff to prepare you mentally prior to doing something big. So maybe you may spend a certain number of months building yourself up into a good like routine of doing this stuff and then just like you know a couple of days or a couple of weeks before uh, you do something like break up in your relationship or create a new relationship maybe you do a little more you know that that sort of thing and the fact that you keep these you know this irrational level of activity you know lighting a candle on the full moon or whatever it is um, going throughout your life and that just provides you with a bit of an extra boost you don't always recognize it's there but I'm telling you it is you know I've experimented upon myself through living different styles of life and when I live the kind of lifestyle when I had that kind of like regular reaffirmation of something of a faith nature um, it really did substantially change me so essentially that was quite interesting the other thing is recovery after action so after you've just had a massive argument with someone or just you know and so on and so forth uh, you can then use your faith, your meditation, candle burnings and the rest of it to give you that emotional support after you've done whatever it is that you were doing and also it's also of course there to carry you through everything I mean within life just getting through your, your regular day to day job dealing with your arsehole boss or the fact that your wage check that you were given uh, bounced at the bank or you've got like various demands upon yourself for your, uh, your taxes, your bills, you're worried about losing your house and so on and so forth uh, you definitely need something else to carry you through in terms of action. That's why it's a good idea to build up a background of, uh, uh, of skills from New Age Living, which can somehow be helpful to yourself as you carry on going through the journey. All right? uh, and the reason for this is because human lives basically just need maintenance. All right? We just need maintenance. And the way that we normally maintain ourselves is just not quite good enough. I mean, that's why we got a health service in the UK, because people get sick, all right? And you can get extra advice on how to do this, how to do that, how to improve your diet. I mean, your diet and your nutrition are two of the most important things in your life, okay? So you've got to make sure, you know, you're doing that right. Your doctor can provide you with help and advice and assistance. But also, your new age lifestyle can also provide you with some assistance and guidance there. As long as you don't get too dogmatic and you don't get too literalistic, you're probably going to be fine. But that's just to give you a bit of an idea as to what all this can really be about. This is why I think the New Age movement has got a lot of potential. Because if people can start to design uh, lifestyles which are based upon this style of therapeutic life, the likelihood of, of, of individuals uh, having problems will be greatly diminished. Uh, so, wow. Just plain wow. 
All right. I mean, every single day I talk to people who've uh, um, got some problems or issues in their lives, and what they need is something from New Age thinking, which can help them out. And so this is one of the things that I do in my job is, you know, I, I give to people something that I know from all of these tools, which can then sort of like give them just um, that extra thing which will help them through. Uh, and it's very rewarding, uh, especially when someone calls back like six months or 12 months later and says, you know, if it wasn't for what you said, like everything would have gone pear, you know, pear-shaped. So anyway, that's a bit of a background. Speak to you soon.